breakfast. I've been wanting to make this for a long time. I've never done it. This is my first time. We are going to make homemade matcha pancakes. Not very many ingredients, pretty simple. Get yourself a large mixing bowl. We're gonna start off with the dry ingredients. One cup of flour. I'm adding a tablespoon and a half of baking powder. Baby. Hi, baby. One and a half tablespoons of matcha. I made this recipe while we ordered the ingredients for it, and I made this recipe while Claudia was away. I know. We ordered the ingredients when Claudia was still in town. It looked so By good. By the time it arrived, Claudia was away, and I made it for one. And I sat here and I ate two servings of it for one. Yeah, why does that sound so sad? All by myself. It was sad. It tasted good, but it was sad. Some sugar. We're gonna do one sixth cup sugar. Some salt. Mix it up. We're gonna pour in one and one eighth cup of your choice of milk. I'm using almond milk. Heat up a large pan on uh, medium high, right? That's what I'd say, mm -hmm. olive oil. Whoa. Isn't that, is, that a cool color? That is yummy. Ooh. Doesn't that look yummy? Little yeah. Shrek, little Shrek pancake. Dude, very Shrek, very Grinch, still Christmas. If you made these for your kid on St. Patrick's Day, their head would explode. I'm gonna drizzle on a little bit of syrup. Oh my God. Good, right? Oh my God. I'm gonna show you guys a quick snack that I like to make. And honestly, it's so overrated and simple that like, how dare I? But there's one ingredient that I've added and it's like blown my friend's minds. You have to try it with some vanilla granola. This is gluten-free sprouted vanilla chia granola. I've got peanut butter without the oils and added sugar and salt. And then of course, a honey crisp apple. Very self-explanatory. I have an apple cutter. There's something about this combo that reminds me of like a peanut covered caramel apple. So I thought that is what a caramel apple is, just standard default. I've been trying to communicate with many people that this snack reminds me of that. But when I say caramel apple, everyone just thinks of, I guess, apple and caramel. And they're like, mm, but how? It reminds me of it, just let me be. I'm just gonna place a scoop of peanut butter on this board. I like a lot. I kind of keep the granola on standby because I'm always adding more. I really, truly believe that I have nailed the vegan Caesar salad. It's perfect. It's literally perfect. It's um, so good. There have been times where I make it like every single week, right? There have, yes. It's it was, a staple. It's a it staple. Was, it was a staple. To make this meal more substantial, I am going to be making some plant-based chicken. This is the brand Daring. I'm gonna cook some of these pieces on a pan with some olive oil, super simple. Let's prepare the salad. Romaine, chopped, rinsed, dried. Got this salad spinner for Christmas and it literally changed my life. Hands down, best Caesar dressing I've ever tried. The reason I like this one is from Chef Hacks. It kind of feels and has the texture of like a thick vinaigrette versus a creamy dressing. There's something about that that I enjoy, not having it be too creamy and thick. I'm pretty generous with my dressing. This stuff. Extremely important, very important. Makes or breaks the salad. I have these organic seasoned croutons from 365 Whole Foods. You need to beat the croutons. You need to crush them, you need to crumble them. It's extremely hard to pick up a large crouton with your fork. Uh, usually they're like too hard, it cracks in half, you lose it. This is what you want. Add the croutons and the crouton crumbs into your salad, heavy pour. This cheese, I think they may have recently changed something about it. I think this will be fine though. But I do like to add a lot of shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm 
a Caesar girl. I need to get you guys onto literally my favorite drink in the entire world right now. We're gonna be pairing today's lunch with some Mayoel. As it states here on the can, Mayoel is a bubbly prebiotic soda. We are living in very exciting times where it is so easy to prioritize your health without sacrificing the experience and the flavor of sugary soda, carbonated beverages. Each of these cans contain five grams of prebiotic fiber in them. Prebiotics are essential for healthy guts. And the gut is often referred to as like the body's second brain because it impacts everything from your mood, your appetite, your metabolism, your immune system. Maya Wells organic hand harvested active agave has been clinically proven to retain up to 60% of healthy gut bacteria. Each of these cans has 40 calories or less, only four grams of sugar. They are also vegan, non-GMO, organic. I am so excited to get into the backstory of Maya Well and their community efforts, their sustainability efforts, but for this time, this first impression, I wanted to focus on the health benefits. Maya Well currently carries four incredible different flavors. You cooked the chicken really well. Thank you, I like worried I burned it, and then. <laughs> I'm gonna have the raspberry. What? What? I already know what all these taste like. I'm a big fan. Great. I've been drinking these every day. <laughs> Let's start with the one that I know that you know, which is pineapple mango. Oh my God. Vacation. Cabo. You know how I feel about pineapple. I know. Love my pineapple. So the pineapple mango has turmeric in it, which is anti-inflammatory. So we love an added benefit. This is pear lime with green tea. Dude. Delicious. These are so good. I know. Raspberry cucumber with black currant. And this one might be my favorite. Try it. Try it. Delightful. This one is very refreshing. This one I could have at any time of the day. Last but not least, we have strawberry ginger with hibiscus. Mm. This one has a kick to it. Uh, is that the kick? <laughs> They're all super good. Which one are you choosing? I'm gonna have the pear lime with green tea, I think. Pineapple, motherfucker. And he goes with the pineapple. If any of you guys want to try out Maya Well, you can either shop online on their website, which is drinkmayawell.com. I will obviously have it linked down below, but also you can pick them up at your local Whole Foods or Central Market. Also, if you guys want 15% off of your first order, then be sure to use the code SALUDE when you check out on their website. For dinner tonight, we are going to be making sweet potato french fries with our new air fryer mm -hmm. that your mom got you for your birthday, which is- Happy birthday to me. So happy birthday to you. We're gonna make um, burgers, mm -hmm. a little, what buns? That's vegan brioche. Vegan brioche buns. Tossing some olive oil. This is an air fryer recipe though. You just put the d egg powder on here. This is egg powder? Yeah, the smelly egg powder. <laughs> it says mineral salt. Yeah, mineral salt. That's the stuff your mom uses to make fake eggs. Sure is. They smell terrible. We should wash them off. We should rinse them. Coating the potatoes with olive oil, some onion, some pepper, some garlic salt. We liberal, we love our girls, so. We do, we do, we do. Fries are coated. Now I'm gonna pop these in the air fryer. 400 degrees, 10 minutes, I believe. I don't know. Claudia says I have to tell you what I'm doing if I am gonna do it without her. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put these sliced mushrooms and these sliced onions in a pan with some fajita seasoning and oil. Just turn around and caramelize them. That sounds really good, babe. Thank you. Phineas is heating a pan with some olive oil. Oh wow. How much of the fajita seasoning did you add? A teaspoon. A teaspoon. Mincing two garlic cloves. Can I mash these? Yeah, bring them over here. Wait, whoa. What? We're gonna mash them in the bowl. This is too much chaos happening. We are mashing. Stop it, stop it. The internet's not gonna approve. <laughs> Dude, you're feeling it. It looks great. I'm just using like one clove's worth, half a cup of minced onion. Two tablespoons. I think these fries would be pretty good. Adding a, seasoning. <laughs> a teaspoon of that also in here. Mix it up. 
Oh, we've got some fries cooking. Okay. Wow. Pretty much. Should we put them in a bowl? Sure. I think I might be down for a slightly thinner. Yeah, to make three? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do that. I am making some garlic mayo, and some salt, and aioli. 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 <laughs> Eggs. Should we start cooking these? These look great. Do you want to see the fries? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my oh god. Fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> we are toasting the buns in the oven. The patties are cooking. We're gonna add this shredded cheddar to the patties once we flip them. Yeah. They look like little french fries on camera. We're gonna cover that so that the cheese actually melts. Garlic aioli on the buns. Aioli. Are we sure it's not aioli? No. Yum. Oh my god. So we're adding the onion and mushroom to the patties. <laughs> Most measly. Definitely not the prettiest meal we've made. They're so good though, to trust us. Thanks, Jude. Wow. Look who's at home. I'm currently visiting my family for the week, but I wanted to thank you guys for watching today's video and thank you to Maya Well for working with me. I am so excited to be supporting a company that I am just such a big fan of. I love the product, I love the people, I love the story. Once again, you guys can shop Maya Well at Whole Foods, Central Markets, or online, and I will obviously have the link down below. Bye guys.